So in this chapter we will learn about fragments. So fragments are dynamic parts of application. We have seen already that one activity is one screen. And sometimes it can be an use to have such things because we want to display multiple things at the same time. So to fix that, Android suggests to use fragments. The goal of fra fragments is to build some reusable parts of application that can be combined into a single view. Okay, so the idea is, for instance, let's say that you have a tablet and a phone, and this is a mail reader. You may want to have one view, plain mode for for phone for different screen, but when you switch in portrait mo uh, landscape mode, you want to display the two at the same time. Okay? And if we want to display the two at the same time, it means that we have to, to be able to handle two things at the same time within one activity. So the goal of fragments is to build application using components that come from, from various uh, uh, components and to combine them. So basically, a fragment is only a modular part of an activity. Uh, it's a reusable component and it allows to build a panel of views. Um, an activity can have as many fragments as it wants. Okay? Moreover, using fragments, helps to reduce the contention over the intent bus, since no intents will be spawned for switching fragments, we will release the contention over the intent bus. Okay? Uh, we can add fragments dynamically or statically, and fragments have a dedicated life cycle. So this is the fragment life cycle. We can observe that this life cycle is based on the one of an activity. There are some few other method on methods that you can implement on attach, on detach, which means this fragment will be attached to this activity or this view or detach. Okay, and so you can release uh, the different. Um, uh, resources you handle so far. Okay, so let's take a small example. I have a first screen. When I click on the button, I have an activity that uh, a fragment that appears. When I re-click on the button, I have another fragment that appears. Okay, so here I have three fragments, but they will be handled by only one application. So, first of all, I have the view of my activity. Then, I build the layout of my activity, which is a button, a button, and a frame layout. This frame layout will be used to display the different fragments I will, be, I will use. So, then, I can put a new fragment. Then I can decide to put another fragment. Then I can decide to put a third fragment. So here we can see that the fragments need some room inside of the view to be displayed. So this is why I decided to fix a frame layout which is empty, which is only used for displaying fragments. OK? So. This is the state of my application. So I can decide for some reason to remove some fragments or to add a new fragment and to overlap different fragments. OK? So let's define a view group that will handle, that will be the area to uh, insert different fragments. So this is only a frame layout. And then I want to build a new fragment. So to add a new fragment, I have to 
as for the support fragment manager, begin a transaction, add my new fragment, and when I fix the add method, I have to specify where the fragment will be displayed and the name of my new fragment, and then I have to commit. When I commit, this is it. My, frag my fragment will appear inside of the screen. Okay, you can also replace a fragment always by new fragment. Okay? When you use fragments, you can choose to perform some animation uh, during uh, the enter or the exit of the fragment. And to do that, you only have to define some small XML that will fix the duration, the delta x, delta y, that will provide the, the path of the fragment to go uh, to the screen. So this is two examples of animation you can do. And then you can just call the method set custom animation enter exit and this is it. Okay, so the goal of fragments was um, originally to 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 build more complex application when activities cannot be cannot under the full uh, the full screen with different components. So Android is pushing towards this uh, this um, this technology, but most of the developers are not convinced uh, for by fragments because at the beginning it was used it was hard to use but now it's quite simple so i suggest you to use fragment as much as you can so the objective of the fragments is to build modular application and you can specify animation and this does not overload the intent bus so there are only uh, good effects for uh, fra using fragments. Fragments have their own life cycles and you can build a fine-grained user experience when you use fragment fragments.